Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. Today we're going to talk about playmats and other accessories for collectible card games. Let's go! All right, so in a couple of my other uh, CCG videos, talked about playmats. Wanted to go a little bit more into that, uh, especially in how that relates to Dice Masters, because uh, I'm filming this after uh, we did the Dice Master review. Uh, and so we just wanna add some of the things that I'm doing with Dice Masters, see if that might help you out, who knows? And then maybe cover some other things uh, about some of the other CCGs I've mentioned in my other videos, all right? Hope that makes sense. All right, so playmats, playmats. Uh, not everybody gets playmats. Um, I kind of first got into the idea of using playmats with Pokemon because I was trying to figure out how to play Pokemon and I couldn't, I just couldn't get it. Like I was watching several videos, it just didn't make any sense. And then when I got the starter pack, when I got the starter set, it came with a folded paper playmat. And it was for two people, which was awesome. Uh, so I could see my opponent's side and my side. And we rolled the playmat out and uh, it bam, it just, it all, the lights all came on and we, we figured it out. And so I started thinking, well, are there play mats for the other games that I play or, or play mats, you know, out there. And so I started to see just a whole myriad of play mats that are out there. And maybe you've always kind of looked at it as an extra expense, like I don't need it, but let me just give you the argument for play mats, okay? Uh, number one, uh, the good play mats, that's what you want to get. If you're going to spend money, spend money on something good. Don't get something thin, something cheap, something made out of paper, fabric, okay? You wanna look for neoprene, okay? And this is what neoprene looks like all rolled up. It's the same material that you would think of uh, being maybe on a wetsuit or a mouse pad. All right, so neoprene, it is uh, of the family of polychloroprene, okay? It's a synthetic rubber that's produced by the polymerization of chloroprene. So neoprene exhibits a really good chemical stability, maintains flexibility and shape over a wide temperature range. Now, uh, when I roll mine all up, I roll all mine together. So I have five play mats, I roll them all up together into one tube and I store them like that. They maintain their shape. Uh, and I, I live in you know, a really hot area, really warm humidity, and it still maintains its shape. When I unroll it, they roll out flat. And so uh, the neoprene is good for that, maintaining its shape, and it's also good for your dice. So if you're rolling dice, you don't want to be rolling your dice on a hard surface, like a wood table or, or concrete or something like that, uh, especially with like Destiny, you're going to bang those dice up and scratch all your paint off. You're going to lose your rare and ultra rare dice, and you're going to be very, very, very sad. So you want to roll your dice on uh, something that's like a neoprene surface. I know they have dice boxes out there, but then your dice don't have as much freedom. I just feel like you have to aim for the box, then you got to carry a box around. I think the, the play mats work so much better for your dice, longevity of your dice. You, you, you spent money on those dice, all right? You spent money in your dice, you spent money in your cards, you want them to last. Think about getting a neoprene play mat. All right, for Dice Masters, uh, I have the Spider-Man Neoprene Playmat. Uh, it's 24 by 13, and it cost me 12 bucks. And again, I got two of them, one for me, one for my opponent, uh, and they, they're beautiful. They have all the color uh, imagery from Spider-Man and the comic books. There's you know, great indicators as to where the lay, to lay the cards down, to lay the dice down, where everything goes. I like the little thing in the center, the little, you know, the little map that tells you uh, the rotation of your turn play. There's even a little turn by turn uh, helpful hints over there in the left corner. So yeah, it has your counters lined up at the bottom so that you can track your life. Definitely, totally helps uh, during gameplay. All right, since we're talking about Destiny, this is the uh, play mat I got for Destiny. It's a much larger mat. So this is 26 by 26, and it's for two players. Now, the reason why I got it for two players is because, well, you always play Destiny with another person. <laughs> I know there's ones out there for single player, and if you're you know, by yourself, certainly go look and pick up a Destiny play mat for a single player. But I thought, you know what, the double allows our dice to kind of go off the play mat a little bit. There's some extra space. And the other thing about this play mat is it's generic, so it's not just Destiny specific. So there's other card games that I have that are also Star Wars based. Uh, I even have some other dice games that are Star Wars based. I can use this playmat for all of them uh, because it has, you know, generic logo on it. There's nothing, there's nothing specific or, you know, too specific. Uh, this was 38 bucks. So it's about $40, $40 for, like I said, a 26 by 26. All right, so this is the Boss Monster playmat. It is 24 by 14 and is for two players. Obviously they don't make a single player 
boss monster. They only make a double ma a double player. Actually, now they do. They do have a four player mat now. If you go out and look, I saw one on eBay. There's a four player boss monster mat now for about 50 bucks. This 24 by 14 sells for about $13 and it'll totally uh, enhance your boss monster playtime. All right, counters. Uh, sometimes games ask you to have counters and you don't uh, have counters. They don't come with counters, let's say, and you're forced to go out and buy your own. Uh, a lot of people use like just glass beads, colored glass beads. Those are fine, but I just figure if you're gonna get into it, right, you should feel like the game. It should feel like the game you're playing. So Spider-Man, I play the Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man Dice Masters. So I thought, I wanna get Spider-Man counters. So um, I went out to eBay and I looked around and I found uh, metal Spider-Man uh, game tokens from Monopoly. There was a Spider-Man series of Monopoly out there and there's Spider-Man tokens, the little game pieces that you can play as. And so this is what they look like. They're really cool. They actually fit on the life circles, right? So you can track it. They're three-dimensional, so they kind of stand up. So when you look across to the second player, you can see kind of where their life is. Uh, and they're, you know, they don't move easily, so you're not gonna knock them or push them around with, during gameplay. You'll specifically move it down the row as your life ticks off. So that was fun. Um, Boss Monster now also uh, says, hey, let's use dice, let's use counters. And so I wanted to get something for that as well. Boss Monster has kind of like a green aesthetic, like a lot of their graphics and things are done in green or a light green. So I went out on eBay and again, I found uh, green bingo chips, green clear acrylic bingo chips. I got like a whole bag of 50 for like a, a couple of bucks. So those are my uh, counters. And then I found green gamers dice. Green gamers dice came in a little plastic box. They were perfect, they were great. And so I have those accessories and I stick those in my collector's box. Hey, since this video is attached to the Dice Masters video, I just want to say one more thing about Dice Masters before I go. Uh, one of the bad things about Dice Masters was that the cards come with kind of like a warp to them. <laughs> you notice that? Uh, I don't know why they can't stay flat. I love how Destiny packs their cards. They make sure that their dice are in good condition and their cards are flat, but the Dice Masters uh, cards have a little bow in them. What I do is I stick all of my cards in a clear acrylic box, a collector's card box, and then I rotate it so that the cards are down and they're being compressed. And then I stick a whole stack of extra cards on top of them to squish them and to, fat, and to flatten them out. And so I've done that and I've stored mine like that horizontally so that they're all on top of each other and then a huge weight on top of that just to kind of flatten them out and I found that over time they do flatten out and they do feel and play a lot better. All right, so I hope I answered some of your questions about different accessories that'll help enhance your CCG game time, make it more fun. Of course, if you have any tips or suggestions for people who might be watching this, definitely tell us in the comment section below. We wanna hear your input, your ideas. It'll only help uh, us all get into it. So maybe you, another game you play, uh, you found some creative way to do counters or play mats, definitely let us know. Or you find a way uh, to make your own play mat, oh, hook us up. Tell us uh, all about it. I'm sure we'd love to glean that advice from you. Hey. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks, bye.